when the Cleveland Browns selected Denzel Ward out of Ohio State with a fourth overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft last month, many who followed the build-up to the draft were surprised. It's not that Ward was not worthy of the fourth overall selection, he was projected by most experts as a top-10 pick, but few saw the Browns going in that direction at that point. With NC State's Bradley Chubb on the board, Cleveland had the chance to get bookend defensive ends with last year's number one overall pick, Miles Garrett. But the Browns went with Ward, arguably the most bust-proof prospect in the draft, in order to get a shutdown cornerback, a position the organization certainly needed to address at some point in the near future. According to Mary Kay Cabot, a longtime Browns reporter for Cleveland.com, Cleveland likes what it has in Ward after just a few short weeks. In fact, in a recent question-and-answer piece with fans, the very connected Cabot was asked if she believes Ward will start week one for the Browns. I do. The Browns drafted him number four to be their shutdown corner against the best receivers in the NFL such as Antonio Brown, A.J. Green and DeAndre Hopkins. I think they'll start him in the opener against Pittsburgh and let him learn on the job. Ward has the speed 4.32 in the 40 to keep pace with the top receivers, and the coverage skills to shut down his side of the field. Ben Roethlisberger and Drew Brees will surely test him in the first two weeks, but he seems to have the right demeanor and skill set to handle it. This will be different than his predecessor Joe Hayden, who played mostly in sub-packages and tilling the starting lineup in Week 11. Cleveland finished the 2017 ranked 19th in passing yards allowed per game 230.2. The Browns gave up 28 passing two counts, tied for fourth worst in the NFL, and had only seven interceptions for the year, second worst in the league. Meanwhile, Ward was one of the best cornerbacks in the country last, his first year as a starter for the Buckeyes, ranking in the top 10 in the country with 15 pass breakups and was a first-team All-American. While Ward's size at the NFL level has been questioned by some, Ohio State defensive coordinator Greg Schiano, a former NFL head coach, does not believe that will be an issue for the 5'11 cornerback. When you're talking about Denzel, so maybe HES a half an inch short. OK, I get that. If HES 5'8, that's a different story, Schiano said. I think you have to take into account his ability to track the ball, ability to jump, his arm length, all of those things because they're not cookie cutter. A six-foot guy, a coverage radius of a five-foot ten guy may be greater just the way HES proportioned. You don't know. That's why they do so much in-depth physical discovery on these guys to gather all the information they can. What's next for the Buckeyes? Make sure you're in the loop. Take five seconds to sign up for our free Buckeyes newsletter now. Want the latest Essen news on the Buckeyes? Try our 7-day free trial and become a B-U-C-K-N-U-T-S subscriber. Ward will be tested early as the Browns open up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Assuming Cabot is correct in Ward is the number one corner, he will face arguably the NFL's best receiver in Antonio Brown out of the gates. But that's the pressure that comes with being the Number four overall pick and, although some were surprised by the selection, Ward would not want it any other way.